Yeah. They're pretty excited about this, honey. Pretty excited. Well, good morning, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season. We're going all the way from last winter through to this fall. And we are well over halfway. Matter of fact, we are in the honey harvest time of the season for us here in Southeast Louisiana. And just a quick reminder, if you do like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Giving it a thumbs up is the best way to support the channel. And it does help the video get out to uh, the recommended pages of those who are looking for bee videos. So I'd appreciate it. So you might be wondering, once again, for those that haven't watched my channel, is this a how-to video? Are you getting ready to show us what to do and how to do things? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. I'm just out here doing it my way the best I can, figuring things out each year and learning something every day when I go out in the bee yard. But today we are not going out in the bee yard. <clears throat> today we are going to help a fellow beekeeper extract his honey. We're going over to Mr. Ed's. Give him a hand with all those boxes he pulled. You see, he has more hives than one man wants to handle so he enlists help you gotta be careful when you go over there if you go over there before you know it you'll have a bee box in your hand or a hive tool or something to do with bees oh yeah you'll be you'll be working so old good time Charlie you know good time Charlie's over there he's kind of trapped now Good time Charlie last week was calling everybody he knew in between pulling boxes. It was kind of like a, a, a desperate plea for help. Because he was like, help, help, help us, help us. Yeah. And then Jeff would say, hey, come on, we're pulling boxes. He had to go, I got to go, I got to go. And he'd hang up the phone. It was like he was just reaching out. He was just trapped. Well, good time Charlie looking for help. Jeff was like, no, keep on working. But you know. So I told old Charlie, I said, yeah, let me see what I can work out with a schedule. Well, you know, I'm just, I'm just joking around, but, uh, no, we I did get a call the other day and, and they were pulling boxes and they said they were going to be extracting honey and definitely could use a hand. Um, Jeff's got just a lot of, he's got a lot of bees over there. I mean, he's got a lot and I forget, he, he said it on his Facebook page, how many boxes he pulled but he, he pulls a lot I know he had 160 supers out at one point and he, he runs all deeps uh, so they go out there and they pull all those deeps uh, that's a ton of work for you guys that pull deeps you pull honey you know so we're going to go over there we're going to give him a hand in his operation and give you guys it which I'm probably every one of y'all that's a beekeeper watches him and you've seen his operation and he's he'll have a video but we're going to go over there and I'll show you a little bit of his operation for those of you that don't watch him, and uh, we're gonna go give him a hand at the same time and see what they're up to. So it's oh boy, 10 after seven in the morning, so it's not terribly early, but it's a beautiful morning. But it's gonna get hot, so it's gonna be a good day to be working inside. Alrighty, let me get on down the road and we'll go see what Mr. Ed is up to. Now, before I do uh, <laughs> cut off real quick, I did wanna mention one thing. I'm watching it. This, this uh, fellow follows a lot of the bee, um, people I follow, and he follows my channel, and I I didn't even think about it and finally subscribed to his. I wasn't even thinking um, about his channel, but so I subscribed to his channel, and you guys need to go. Man, I'm telling you what, he put a video out the other day. I've been watching a few of his videos because he's got a ton of videos, and I just didn't, um, I subscribed late, so I didn't, I didn't uh, check them out. So I'm trying to get through some of them and he put one up the other day. I'm telling you that that fella had me dying laughing of him getting stung. It's a it's he was opening some boxes up and he called it a uh bees with bees attack or something like that and, and uh it was he put fail on it, but it's uh the bug farmer. Man you, you could go over there and watch that. That's funny. 
that was a funny video he and he texted me back and told me the story on it. he's got another video coming out that goes along with it but uh yeah you guys gotta go over and check that out um the bug farmer go check out his channel man he's a uh he's an artist with edit, editing videos we are arriving he's some really beautiful grounds out here If y'all ever watched uh, Mr. Ed's tour of this place, that's a that's a very good video to watch. He goes through all the buildings, the cottage, the the cottage industry stuff. Um, can't go in the church. Make sure it's beautiful, beautiful out here. But you gotta you can't film in there, so he wasn't able to go in. But film. Did you hear what I said? I said you can't film. <laughs> Who films anymore? <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, it's a neat place out here. The grounds are beautiful. They're well kept. Man, you, you a sight for sore eyes. A sight for sore eyes. <laughs> yeah, I brought my camera. I'm not coming over did here without it. You brought all these bees with you? No, you did. Look, the Abby, honey. Get away, man. He said, Jeff Come said, on in, brother. Jeff Come on said, in. Look at Mike. He even brought his wife with him. I said, no, I think that's Daddy. Look, look at this place. I'm, I'm showing the people that. Oh, look at here. The earlier, the better. <laughs> the early bird mm -hmm. gets the donuts. It smells like honey in here. Why? I don't know. We haven't even put a dent in this stuff yet. That's all we've done. Well, yeah, see what's going to happen. We, yeah, I think that. When the wax comes to the top. Yeah, when, the, when we load it up, that download, that should fill that should up. Fill that up. Well, I know how it works. So Charlie the cameraman. Good time, Charlie the cameraman. He's, he's, he's never he never gets a chance except at the end to talk to you guys. He, he gets no star except for at the end of the video. Yeah, because it's a 
because it actually, and Preston, you ought to video that when it turns it on, because it really is cool how it pancakes out. Preston, did you get this stuff over here now? I'm on a vibration issue. Oh, yeah? Okay. And you did. You cut the wax off and it just started moving. Groove frames, but not on the weight frame. So we separated it now instead of. But even when you stack them the way you do out there, mm -hmm. uh, out the, uh, the air. You stack them up. Yeah. You, you, oh, yeah. I mean, when you stand them up, they still. It do, if they go to the groove, they go to that smell. There's yeah. no smell in the honey bottle. Where? Yeah. They have to stay in the honey house. They'll stay in here. Yeah. They'll go, I'll actually freeze them, and then oh, they'll stay okay. in here. Okay. And then they'll let me go. Okay. Well, at least horse shop is feeding us, right? What's that? Oh, yeah. It's, it's not free labor. <laughs> at least we get to eat. We had donuts this morning. <laughs> he is taking good care of us. That's our wax that's left over from our Here wax separator. Not yet. It's as dry as you're going to get it right there. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice. Yep. Yeah, we've swung up on you know them. Right? So I, I, last year I was putting them in, in the uh, wax in the five gallon buckets. And I figured that since we have way more. Uh, wax this year. I, we just got to put it in the garbage can. Yeah. Might as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's working. It's going to dump it one time. We're cleaning the, cleaning the burr comb yeah. off here. What's up, Mike? Oh, not a whole lot. I'm going to watch what y'all are doing. Cleaning off the burr comb. <laughs> Running them in the, in the uncapper. <laughs> in they go. The chain uncapper. on the fingers. That's what I've been doing for the last four or five hours. Everything on wheels here. That's all the burk home we scraped this morning. Off of, uh, I don't know how many boxes at this point. 800 frames, maybe? Yeah. Probably 100 frames, I mean, a thousand frames is what we've uh, done this morning up to this point.
We lost the bee in the making of this video. Nothing to accept. Separated honey from the wax. Now, what you'll see, plenty of wax in there. That's still a fine, fine wax. It won't come out. That'll all flow to the top. Bees, propolis, all that wax will flow to the top. Then he'll skim it off, put it right back in the wax separator. These we filled earlier this morning, and you can already see the you can already see the wax has floated up. This will all completely be clear in about two to three days. It'll be crystal clear. All the wax will be up here. He'll come through, skim every bit of that out, put it right back through the wax separator. All right, we're gonna start extracting now. Another 55 gallons. <laughs> he does 55 gallons like I do five <laughs> gallon buckets. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's how y'all roll. I give myself about 15 five gallon buckets, you get 15 drums. Yeah. <laughs> Clean up time. The rest of the wax thing spun out. Got Mr. Ed doing a little, Ed doing a little bit of... Getting the last bit of honey, he can't stand to lose a drop. No way, man! This stuff, as hard as those bees work for it. This is, our, this is the chain on Capper. That's it, Charlie's out here hosing her down. That's a great machine right there. There we go. All these, all these supers are gonna go out this door and get fed to the bees. It will. Oh yeah. How many bees did it take to make all that capping wax? Yeah. Whoa, watch out, we almost caught Ralph down. Let's see what we got down here. We got a bucket over there? Yeah. We do. Oh yeah, yeah plenty of honey. Look Hold at on. that. Let me, get, let me get my camera too. Plenty of honey down there. Come on, kid. If I could get in from the camera, guys. So we pull the drum out. And now all we gotta do is just push this honey out because it doesn't drain out of this thing very well. We'll push it out and then, then we'll wash it out. There is a lot of honey in there. Yep. Come on, Randy, wait, wait. Here's the back porch. I'm just unlocking. A little pollen feeding going on. All right, got a couple hives right here. 
And we're going to do what, what they call the big push. All those supers are coming out here to feed the bees. Right out the door they go, the bees are already starting to find it. Wow. Look at the bees I know. coming in. They have found it. They have found it. These boxes have been out here less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Of course, it, I guess it doesn't Look at the bees. They hurt to have two hives right here, but they're beginning to find it. It's going to be no time and this is going to be a buzz out here, literally. Well, been about an hour and uh, I'm going to put this away from me a little bit. And there are bees everywhere. Ooh, they're getting my eyelashes. There's so many of them. Feast. It's like being a Golden Corral buffet. <laughs> Look at the bees. <laughs> they are everywhere, folks. Everywhere. The bee buffet. It is the bee buffet. <laughs> the bees. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty excited about this, honey. Pretty excited. Yep, yep. Hey there, folks. Man, what a day. I'm telling you, it was a day of work. I told you, when you come out to this abbey, you better know what time of the year it is. You need to avoid spring and early summer because I have Mr. Ed to work you. So, I tell you what, we're wrapped up for the day. Uh, we harvested 520 gallons, what we came up with. We put in an eight hour day. It was like 1150 frames is what we put through the uh, extractor. And it was something else. But uh, we had a crew out here. We had a whole crew. So, it's all wrapped up. Go in here. And uh, this, is, this is what's left. You gotta tell us, uh, you gotta tell us Carol. This is what's left. We're hosing down, and cleaning up the wax, draining out the honey house. You've seen the big push of frames out there. Sink's all full, equipment's all clean. And uh, I think we're gonna call it a day here in a second. So folks, that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna call it a day. We're gonna be wrapped up here. Everything's cleaned up. Everybody's happy. He's got plenty of honey to get him through now. And his harvest is done. That's why I was telling you about my harvest. Sometimes I like to just get it all done at one time. So he's all done, no more harvesting, everything's cleaned up, wrapped up for the year. And uh, he'll get all his boxes stored and evaluate his hives and fall time, we'll get them all set for winter and be done, ready to go. But it was a good day out here. We had a good time, everybody had a good time together. Uh, we hadn't been able to get together with our meetings because of everything going on in the world. So it was good to finally get to see everybody um, and gather up and just have a good day together. And it was work. It was definitely work. No doubt about it. But it was good work. And it was a great fellowship, a great friends. So, so guys, I appreciate everybody that's been watching. I appreciate y'all following along. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And look, share it with your friends, your family. Anybody just enjoys watching bees. Hey, this is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and God bless y'all. Hey, wait, wait, let me share this recording. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it is good. You got nine minutes. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up. Nine minutes. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Keep, Keep on watching. And we'll be making more. God, God bless. bless. We're all out of here.